Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to edit footer in WordPress Astro theme. So let's begin. Alright, so to edit the footer in Astro theme, so the first thing that you need to do is to have the Astro theme installed and activated. And after this, what you need to do, you have to go inside the appearance and click on the customize. So here we have the different options here. We have the footer builder here and along with this, we also have the header builder. So right now, let's just click on the footer builder. And from here, we can customize our footer in the Astro theme. So the first thing that you can see here that we have the copyright text. And after this, we also have this widget. So if I just click on the widget. And if I just click on the got it, you can see this we have the simple text into it about the address, phone number and the email. So if I wanted to edit this, I can simply edit this. And after this, if I just go back, we have the copyright text. So in the copyright text, if I wanted to add anything or delete the things, I can simply do this from here. And I can also change the alignment of it to the left side or the right side and in the center. And we can also change the visibility based on the screen size. So if I wanted to disable this on the tablet screen and the mobile screen, uh, I can simply do this from here. Okay, so if I just wanted to disable for the desktop version, I will simply click here. And now you won't be able to see our copyright text. So let's enable this again. Perfect. Alright, so now we also have the design in the copyright. So in the design, we have the text color, we have the font size and we have the margin. So if you wanted to change the values, you can simply do this from here. And even if you wanted to change the values based on the size, you simply click on that particular size where you want to change the value. And then if I add the value here, so this would only apply to the tablet screen. So I just add 100 px. And if I just go back to the desktop version, now you can see this, we don't have any size here. So that is how we can add the values based on the screen size. So let's delete this value. But I go here with the default value. All right. So now let's go back. And you can see here the three layers. Okay. So in the footer, you can see here we have the three layers. So the first layer is like the above footer. The second layer is for the footer. And the last layer is for the below footer. Okay. So what I wanted to do here, I wanted to put the copyright into the last option, into the last layer. Okay. So I'll simply drag this and put this here. All right, and if I wanted to have the different things on the footer layer, I will simply click here. Okay, and you can see this, I can add the different elements here. But one thing that you can see here that we only have a single column right now. Okay, so if I wanted to change the layout of this layer, I will simply click on here. And now you can see this, we can add the number of columns here. So let's click here to the two number of columns. And now you'll be able to see the two columns here. Similarly, if I just click here on the four columns, this is how we can add the four column into it. So let's just go here with the, let's say three column. And now I would like to change the widget here. Okay. So let's click on this and I would simply like to remove this. And now let's click on the add block. So in the add block, I can add all the different things that we can add with the help of WordPress editor. So we have the paragraph, we have the heading, we have the gallery, we have the image, we have the list. Alright, so if I just click on, let's say I wanted to add the menu. So I will write down menu here. And you can see this, we have the navigation menu. So let's click on this. And this will be added. Alright. And here I had to select my menu. So that will be the menu. And also I would need to select the title here. Alright, so here you can see here, I've simply added the quick links or the menu options that we have and if I wanted to work on the design of this widget I will just simply click on here and you can see here we have the title color we have the content color and the link color so let's try to add the title color here so for the title color I will go here with the white color and for the links color so let's try to have the links color here so that would be these so I would go here with the lighter color okay all right, so I think this would look fine. And the second value is for the hover color. So for the hover color, I can go here with this color. All right, so now this looks better. 
and also if i wanted to change the title font size and the content font size i can also do this and we also have the margin and we have the option of the visibility so if i wanted to change the visibility based on the different sizes i can also do this okay so let's go back to the desktop version here all right so now i can see this for the desktop version i would have to add the different styling so let's add the color here of the title that would be white and in the link color on the hover we would have the white color all right so i think this is looking better all right so now in the second column i would like to add the logo okay so let's click here and click on the widget all right so let's click on the add block and click on the image and here i'll simply pick the image from the media library so let's scroll down and let's select this one all right so now this is looking better but i think i would need to put this onto the first column so let's drag this and put this here and i will drag the first widget onto the second column now this is looking better all right so now for the third column i'll just simply keep this empty and now i just try to add something on the first layer all right so let's try to add something on the first column so i'll go here with the html one let's click on the html and here i'm gonna simply add some text into it all right so here i can also change this into the heading but i think i would go here with the paragraph that is looking better and let's just put this maybe on the right side and now what i would also need i would also need to put some button on here all right so let's click on here on the second column go for the widget and click on the widget 3 let's just add block write down the button so let's click on the button and now what i can do here i just simply write down click here for the help all right so now i think that will look better all right so now what we can do here let's go into our html and go into the design now let's just try to add some margin or maybe we can increase the font size so first let's try to increase the font size all right so i think this font size is looking better now let's just try to add some margin so that would be 10 px all right so now this is looking better and i think i would need to unlink the values we just needed to have the margin at the top and the left side all right so this is how we can customize the footer and the astro theme all right so this is how we can customize the footer and the astro theme and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel